Hello guys, welcome back to another short tutorial on Angular. In the previous video, we have seen how we can add or make use of AG Grid in our application. In this video, I am going to show you some of the modifications or features of AG Grid and uh, how we can use those uh, features of AG Grid. As you can see here in the previous example, we have added two columns and three rows in AG Grid table. Before seeing some of the features of AG Grid, let me alter this table so that we have some more rows and columns so that then it will be easy for us to see the features, how it works fine in AG Grid. I'll modify the table uh, by adding uh, four columns instead of three columns earlier what we had. So now I have extended it to two more columns. I've added ISO code and area. So currently we have only three rows in our table. Let me populate large number of data here. I will remove this one. I have some pre-populated data which I have copied here now. So let me save this one and you can observe Angular auto compiles automatically whenever you save or make any modifications into our Angular application. So let me go back to the application and you can observe here now there are a lot of rows which we can see in our AG grid table. As we have defined some width and height for this one and grid has fit in within this particular pixels which we have defined here. As I mentioned currently there are four columns which I have added in my AG grid. And you also know that we can increase the width and height of this one. So let me increase the width of this one so that I can see all four columns in a browser view. So for that one, go back to app.component.html and increase the width of the AG grid which we have added. And if you go back to your browser, you can observe width has been increased now. The first feature of AG grid which I want to show here is sorting. As you can observe here, the content or row data which I have added here, it's not sorted either in the ascending or descending order. There will be so many scenarios where you need to add or provide the option of sorting to the users. There is a default feature in Angular by using which you can provide the sorting feature to the users. To enable the sorting feature, just you need to add sortable true to the columns to which you want to provide sorting options. In this example, I want to provide sorting option for the first column that is country column. For that one, I will add sortable as true. Just add that one for the particular column for which you want to provide the sorting option. Save it and once it is compiled, go back to your browser. And now if you mouse over on the particular column, you can observe that there is a hand cursor which indicates that there is some feature available to you for this grid. If I mouse over on other columns, you can see the default cursor. So as soon as I click on the country column, you can observe that data has been shown in the ascending order. If I click on the column title again, it will be in descending order. So if I click on that one again, again, the data, how it was captured or fed into the AG grid, that will be shown here. As of now, I have added only for first column. Similarly, if you need, you can add it for other columns as well. So just you need to copy sortable to to other columns. So I have saved this one. If I come back here and you can see here whenever I mouse over and click on this particular title that will be sorted based on the data available. The next feature I want to show you here is filter. As you can see here, there is a lot of data which is present in our AG grid. It would be better if I provide a filtering option so that based on my criteria, I can search the particular items. I can see the data of that particular data. There is another feature in Angular using which you can enable the filtering options. For that one, just you need to do is add filter true. That's it you need to do. So currently I have enabled it for country column. So if I save that one and go back to 
the browser as you can see here as soon I mouse over on the column title three small lines can be appear on the right side so on click of that one you can observe the similar search feature which we see in uh, most of the Microsoft applications like uh, Excel or Word so as you can see here if you click on the drop down there are so many criteria are also available so you can search so whichever the letter starts with particular letter or you can search for the data which contains particular word and this is a very quick search which we can find in angular so for example if there are any particular letter it will start searching within this AJ grid and you can observe as soon as I click on IND it give me result whichever contains IND so if I click on and write as India so you can see it has listed me two results here similarly you can use the other search criteria as well like starts with if you are searching for a particular data which starts with CR you can just write that one that result will be shown here similarly you can add this filtering option to other columns as well The next feature which I want to show you here is enabling copy option. There might be some scenarios where user comes to your site and uh, they search for a particular row item and they want to copy some of the data from this table. As you can see here, AG Grid by default doesn't provide copy option from your data, so it is disabled. To enable this uh, copying option from your AG Grid, what you can do is you can go to your AG grid HTML content and in the open AG grid angular tag write enable cell text selection is equals to true that's it what you need to do to enable cell copying option from your AG grid so now copying text for each individual cell has been enabled now so user can copy this content and they can use it for reference purpose as you can see here there are so many number of raw data is available or shown in this grid but it would be better if I divide this data into multiple pages so that I can have a pagination and go to different pages to see the data instead of scrolling for that one there is a default option to provide the pagination go to your AG grid open tag and in that one mention as pagination is equals to true save this one and come back to your grid and you can see here there's a grid which has been shown here and by default 100 items are sh being shown in each page here to customize this page number means the count like if you want to show some 20 items then go back to your AG grid open tag and add pagination page size is equals to 10 save this one and come back to your browser and you can observe here now only 10 items being displayed here if you want to show 20 items save this one as 20 and if you come back to your AG grid you can observe here only 20 items being displayed here the next feature which I want to show you is increase the size of this column there might be some scenarios as you can see here complete data is not getting displayed here so in that case you want to increase the column width of this one which is being shown to the user so for that one what you can do is you can go to your TypeScript file where you have added column definitions and find the column for which you want to increase the width just add as width and provide a width for that one in this example I'm going to provide as 500 so save this one if you come back to your browser you can observe that that particular column width has been increased now so I will make it as 300 so that is fine and if I refresh this grid you can observe now this is better and it shows all the content here
so similarly if you want to change the color or width or any property of this title you can do that one as well to change the title properties you need to make the changes in the style sheet styles.css go to that style sheet the styles of these hgrid titles are defined in these two classes so we need to change the properties for these two classes here so let me add font sizes 20 pixel and uh, I want to change the color of the title as well so let me make it chocolate color and I want to make this one bold as well so for that one add font weight as bold save this file and go back to browser and refresh it you can see here the project got refreshed uh, automatically and you can observe here now it's been increased to 20 pixel and it's in bold and in different color so these are some of the features which comes by default in angular thank you guys for watching this video i hope you liked this one if you liked this video please click on like button share it to others and uh, subscribe to my channel